Before we get into the video, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. So it seems like suspected serial murderer Lee Peacock has finally been charged with a double murder in central London. Now if you remember, just over a week ago, Lee Peacock was a wanted man in connection of the murder of Shannon Pickles and Clinton Ashmore, whom lived less than half a mile apart in the Westminster area of London. Now this was a dangerous man that evaded police for a little over a week, and on top of that there were multiple sightings of him wandering around London without a care in the world. Now when the flag was erased for Sharon Pickles on August 19th, the police went to the house and found her with stab wounds to the neck. That's plural. And sadly there was nothing paramedics could do for her. She was pronounced dead at the scene. And then, in the early hours of the following morning, the London Ambulance Service contacted the police to say that a man had also suffered stab injuries at a nearby address. He suffered from the same injuries, again stab wounds to the neck, and sadly he was also pronounced dead at the scene. Now, to be fair to police, they were very quick in their uptake to start an investigation and bring the culprit to justice. I mean, 24 hours later, there was a national manhunt for Lee Peacock and his face was plastered all over news media outlets across the country. Now of course, the next step was the police had their guy, so the Metropolitan Police says that they had found Lee Peacock on a hideaway barge in West London. They also stated that he had suffered serious injuries, which seems to be self-inflicted. Now, the most likely scenario is, after the police put up a 20k reward for information relating to his arrest or capture of 49-year-old Lee Peacock, he knew his time was running out. You can only hide away for so long, and in London, you aren't exactly fleeing undetected. So, he probably wanted to take the coward's way out. Rather than face life in prison, he probably took a blade to his neck and attempted to end it quickly, because that's what cowards do when they can't face their punishment. Now, his attempt to end his home life was serious and genuine, because police have said that Peacock is in life-threatening condition, which means he may have cut a main artery. Now, fingers crossed he makes a speedy recovery so he can stand trial and the relatives of the people's lives he's taken can get some form of justice and closure. All I can say is condolences. Stay safe. Safe.